I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to explain a movie named Avenged. The movie begins by introducing a girl named Zoe who is going to meet her fiancé. Her mother gives her a car for the journey and reminds her to be careful. Zoe assures her mother that she will reach her destination safely. Zoe is excited and happy to meet her fiancé and she enjoys taking selfies. She takes a selfie to show her location and sends it to her fiancé. During her journey, Zoe encounters an old man selling handmade items. Intrigued by the items, Zoe continues her drive. Unfortunately, she gets distracted by her phone while driving and accidentally hits an injured man who suddenly appears in front of her car. Zoe quickly applies the brakes, saving the man's life. However, she notices another man being chased by a brutal gang. The man catches up on him and kills him in a gruesome manner. Feeling the need to help the injured man on the road, Zoe quickly gets out of her car and places him inside. Before she can escape, the gang arrives and starts teasing her. They kill the injured man right in front of her and torment Zoe. Fearing for her safety, Zoe runs away, but the gang's leader named Trey stops her and shoots her on the leg. Zoe falls to the ground and the gang captures her, tying her to the bed. They subject Zoe to severe torture and cause her great pain. Meanwhile, Zoe's fiancé grows worried when she does not return home. He checks the last picture she sent and notices a visible sign that helps him determine her location. He immediately calls the police to search for Zoe. Meanwhile, Trey, the gang's leader, continues torturing Zoe. He reveals that he's the grandson of the man who wiped out a Native American tribe. He shows her the skulls of the tribe members, including the leader's skull. Zoe becomes frightened upon learning the dark family history. The gang members continue to indulge themselves by drinking and enjoying each other's company. One member of the gang suggests killing Zoe, but Trey wants to continue torturing her. They make a bet using cards, and Trey's friend wins the bet, earning the opportunity to kill Zoe. Zoe, however, manages to free herself after enduring immense pain. She attempts to escape, but Trey's friend catches her and repeatedly stabs her with a knife, resulting her to death. The old man, who was selling handmade items accompanied by his dogs, stumbles upon Zoe's lifeless body. He carries her to his location and prepares a medicinal concussion using herbs to treat her wounds. It is revealed that the old man belongs to the tribe that Trey's grandfather exterminated. He performs a ritual and uses magic spells to bring Zoe's soul back into her body. As Zoe's body levitates, a new soul enters her, transforming her appearance. Her eyes turn black and she attacks the old man, and he manages to make her faint. Zoe's fiancé arrives at the hotel and remains worried about her. When Zoe regains consciousness, she finds herself in a city area and locates the public telephone. She calls her fiancé to inform him that she is alive and safe. Her fiancé is overjoyed upon hearing her voice and determines the location of the public telephone to find her. Upon seeking help from the police officer, Zoe realizes that he is actually a member of the gang. Enraged, she follows him to the club. The gang member is shocked to see Zoe, and her eyes turn black again, indicating the return of the soul within Zoe. Zoe violently kills the gang member by tearing out his intestines after he attempts to attack her. Another gang member tries to shoot Zoe, but she knocks him unconscious with a chair. When Zoe's fiancé reaches the location of the public telephone, he finds the police there. He inquires about Zoe, but the officer informs him that the murder has occurred and Zoe is not present. Zoe's fiancé insists that Zoe called him at the location an hour ago, but the officer dismisses him. Trey and his gang arrive at the scene, and upon seeing his fiancé's dead body, Trey becomes enraged, wondering who killed him. Zoe's fiancé shows a picture of her to Trey and his gang, asking if they've seen her. The gang tells him to leave immediately, but when Zoe's fiancé mentions her phone call from that location, they are surprised. They prepare to kill Zoe's fiancé, but a police officer arrives and tells them to leave. When Zoe regains consciousness, she finds herself in a shed. A door opens, revealing a full room of tools. Zoe takes a bow and arrow and leaves. The gang goes to Zoe's burial site, but finds her body missing. They speculate that a wild animal might have taken it. Trey doesn't believe it and decides that they need to leave their homes to avoid the police. As they pack their belongings, one of Trey's friends discovers arrow struck in the car. Terrified, he leaves a voice message for Trey, sensing Zoe's presence. Trey arrives and finds his friend dead. Zoe's body starts decomposing and she seeks help from the old man. He explains that he found her body and performed a ritual to bring her back. However, another soul, the leader of the tribe that was killed, entered the body seeking revenge against Trey's family. Meanwhile, Trey plans to kidnap Zoe's fiancé to protect Zoe from harming them. They beat him and take him in their cart. However, Zoe intercepts them, shooting an arrow into Trey's friend's neck. Trey and his friend are shocked to see Zoe alive. They run away and Zoe gives chase, fighting Trey's friend. He stabs her several times, but she remains unaffected. As Trey tries to escape, he runs over Zoe multiple times, but she remains alive. Trey leaves Zoe's fiancé tied up while his injured friend suffers. They don't take him to the hospital and he tells Trey about Zoe's black eyes and the presence of another soul. Trey suspects the old man from the tribe and he hires armed men. Zoe binds herself with tape and mourns, but the soul of the tribe's leader appears and gives her two weapons. Meanwhile, Trey's injured friend secretly leaves to go to the hospital. Zoe causes his car to crash, killing him. Trey reveals to Zoe's fiancé the torture they inflicted on her. Zoe's fiancé becomes distraught. As Trey spots Zoe, he alerts his gang, but she systematically heals him. Trey searches for his friend and discovers Zoe has killed him too. She even consumes his heart in front of Trey. Trey, terrified, encounters a police officer who he kills before escaping. Zoe reunites briefly with her fiancé, but she's running out of time for her revenge. She leaves him and seeks vengeance. Trey visits the old man and demands answers about Zoe's resurrection. The old man reveals everything. The old man informs Trey about the soul of the tribe's leader now resides in Zoe, and he will only find peace after eliminating Trey's entire family. Disturbed by this revelation, Trey asks how to remove the soul from Zoe. The old man explains that they must burn the leader's skull, which will cause the soul to leave Zoe's body. The police discover Zoe's fiancé, release him, and begin their investigation. Zoe arrives at Trey's house and witnesses his brother's suicide. The soul of the leader's tribe then kills Trey's mother before departing from the scene. Trey arrives at the location with all the skulls, but he realizes the leader's skull is missing. Zoe appears surprising Trey. 
To save himself, Trey wields a chainsaw, initiating a fight. Zoe severs Trey's hands, and in retaliation, Trey impales Zoe with the chainsaw. However, Zoe manages to cut Trey's neck, finally killing him. With this act, Zoe and the tribe leader's soul find peace in their revenge. Later, Zoe's fiancé arrives at the scene after being summoned by the old man. He discovers Zoe's half-buried body and expresses his deep love for her before setting her body on fire. This act brings closure to Zoe and the leader's soul. Unaware of the events that transpired, Zoe's fiancé is enlightened by the old man, who reveals the truth about Zoe's experiences and the reasons behind her actions. The lesson obtained from the movie could be that revenge and violence only lead to further destruction and suffering. It showcases the consequences of seeking vengeance and the cycle of violence that it perpetuates. Additionally, it highlights the importance of forgiveness, understanding, and finding peaceful resolutions instead of resorting to acting of revenge. The movie also emphasizes the value of love and strength of relationships in overcoming challenging situations. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, do consider subscribing. Bye guys!